Hey guys, NCS fan 001 here for part 101 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. This is part. This is part number 10, actually, of Lonesome Road. Wow, already 10 videos into Lonesome Road, and something just exploded. I did a bunch of trading, got a bunch of stuff repaired, and I keep losing caps out of all of it because it costs so much money to repair my body armor because my body armor can't be repaired by Eddie. I wish it could, but it can't, which is quite unfortunate. Oh, isn't that? Yeah, that's a drug. Uh, I don't really need any of that. Ooh, fridge. Uh, what's in here? Got it. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Uh, what else? Is there anything of use in this building at all? Not much. Okay, seriously, how many satchel charges do you guys have? Like, really, this is honestly getting to be kind of annoying. Actually, it's getting to be extremely annoying. Uh, just take all of those and take a doctor's bag. I still got, like, 700 stim packs, though, so I think I'm okay. Uh, how much further is this place? It's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah. I almost just want to start, like... I don't know what that was. I almost just want to start, like, chucking explosives all over the place and hope that it detonates any other frag mines or satchel charges or whatever they put out. Which, I always thought that satchel charges had to have a, uh... Someone detonate them to make them work. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I thought they were one of those that you needed to have someone detonate them, like Claymore Mines are, because that's something that, like, some games have gotten wrong with that. I think that Claymores are supposed to not necessarily be, like, set and forget mines. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Uh, that's bad because that's, that's going to be copyrighted music. Uh, let's mute this for a short time just in case he plays more music. Uh, whatever. Uh, that sounded bad. can't believe he kept going after that. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted. Uh, if I have to edit that out, I I can, but it's, prefer not to have to waste time editing it. Uh, anyway. What do you smell? What do you smell? Sick him, Eddie. Sick him. Be a dog. I don't know why I started talking like that. Okay, this is actually where the sit where the fifth and final uh, Eddie upgrade is, and let me check exactly where it is. Oh, it's back outside. Oops. Okay. Well, I don't immediately see what this thing is referencing, but, uh... Oh! Oh, wait, there's a warhead. Okay, must be here. Yeah, no, not the most interesting thing ever, but I really want to make sure I find all of them, because, again, it's they're helpful. I think this is actually in the area. There it is. Yep, this is it. All right, we got it. Uh, increasing your accuracy in VATS as long as Eddie is with you and he has more accuracy as well. That sounds very good to me. All right, well, we found all of Eddie's upgrades, and now I don't have to worry about him anymore, meaning we can just play straight on through to the end. Well, I mean, I'm still going to do some extra exploration and such because I need to start making some money back after all of the crap that I've been buying in this DLC. Well, no, it's not as much the crap that I've been buying, it's the crap that I've been having to repair every freaking episode. 
at one of those terminals, and it's all so expensive. And another K full of these annoying little things. Alright, hopefully the 45 does a little more damage to them than the other weapons do. Oh, no, I don't want to target you. Uh, no, I did not mean to hit that. Uh, well, my accuracy is increased in bats, which is kind of awesome. Oh, man, I thought that was going to kill him, but okay. But, hey, 45 caliber is a lot more powerful than, like, 9mm and such. I don't know if it would be more powerful than 12.7. I've never even heard of 12.7 caliber in real life anyway, but... I know a lot about guns, and I've never even heard if 12.7 is actually a real-life caliber or not. If someone wants to point that out, or I might just look it up. Okay. I'm not going to do a significant amount of exploration, though, because I kind of want to go ahead and finish this DLC, because... Well, I've really, really enjoyed recording this and getting to go back to a Fallout game and record a Fallout game again before Fallout 4 comes out in a few months. Well, like six months, but... You get what I mean, in that it's been really fun to record this again. I mean, it's just, it's already been ten videos, and we're still like two or three main quests away from finishing. So I kind of just want to go ahead and finish it off. I'm going to maybe try to scavenge a little bit less from now on. Look how these things are annoying. I mean, they aren't as deadly, obviously, as like death claws and such, but they're just really annoying because they can take a lot of damage. Whoa. That was weird. They, like, ran away and stopped attacking me? That was odd. Go, typewriter, go! The Chicago typewriter strikes and literally murdered these things really quickly. Uh, I'm not taking that because I don't like eating human flesh. I think it's wrong. Alright, let's keep going. <sighs> Seriously. Alright, I don't need stim packs, hopefully, because I see an auto dock right here. Please be working, please be working. Yes, thank you. Thank you, now I don't have to waste my stim packs. Excellent. No stim packs to be wasted here today. Uh, let's go ahead and save here, just because, you know, it's been half a video, probably. But yeah, we're making progress through this. We'll be done probably in, like, five more videos, I would hope. No guarantee, though, because, again, this is a pretty long DLC, and soon we'll be encountering more Death Claws! Isn't that just great? Because everyone loves Death Claws that will freaking kill you in two hits, because that somehow makes uh, a lot of sense to the game. God, I would not even want to try to think about going through this DLC on very hard. Because, I mean, I'm on normal, and I've been having some trouble. I've been wasting so much material and such. What the heck would happen to me if I was trying to play this on very hard? Like, again, this is just kind of a really difficult DLC, mostly because of all the cheap enemies that can kill you so easily. Uh, I just... Crap, I did not mean to hit that. I just want to mute, just in case there's more music here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's going to be music. And come on! Why is the phone... Tune in next Saturday for the exciting conclusion. Only on Vault and Channel 9. Eddie, what are you doing in here all alone? And who left these old videos playing? Come on, let's get you into your recharge bay. We've got a big day tomorrow. Uh, suddenly a lot of things make more sense. So you've been trying to find your way home? Aww. Uh... Aw, you're a good little robot. Yes, you are. 
Oh, you played your uh, excited music. Okay, let's go. And I'm just being super careful about the music because I know that that's one issue with the Fallout games is they like to copyright the music a lot. Taking any from me. You brought is mine now. It's coming home. I'll reduce it to parts, just enough to function, to be aware of what's happening. What's inside that machine? That's all that mattered. All the machines here, made of wreckage from the divide, and all that was brought here. Inside its frame, it carries the message you brought here, and it'll do what it was programmed to do, whatever it can to get home. The giants here will listen to it. I'll bring the divide to your home, your nation. Let its flag burn, just like you. Big mountain access code, Ulysses. Command override. Navarro. What the? No! 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 Eddie! No! No! Buddy! Why? Now I'm angry. At least he wasn't really carrying anything, so didn't really gain any weight from it. Well, ain't that just great, guys? Ulysses has taken Eddie from us. We have to rescue him and get out of this place. Well, that's bad. Uh, Eddie, I loved you. We were brothers. Well, sort of. I mean, technically you are metal and I'm human, but that's beside the point. Anyway... I know that there are places and stuff we can explore around here, but like I said, I kind of just want to finish this DLC soon. Because, you know, it's been going on a long time, and I'm kind of ready to be done with it. Got it. Equipment. Man, how much more? I mean... And, I mean, I am glad, though, that this is kind of a long DLC, because, you know... More content for the price. I mean, who's going to complain about that? More content for a price is always... Crap, I remember this area very well. Yep, Death Claws. And no Eddie to help. Okay, I gotta be very careful here. I am not looking forward to this area, because this area has quite a few death claws in it. 
I'm saving again because I am not going to die again. Well, I mean, I probably will, but at least now I won't have to go back very far. I'm gonna make a phone call when I'm done with the video. But I use a cell phone like most people do. An iPhone. Anyway. Alright, Death Claws. I've saved. Come at me. Come at me, bra. Yeah! That's how it's done. That is how it's done. I only took a few hits. I only had to use a couple of stim packs. Okay, I'm not complaining. That went great. Two less death claws. That's a good thing. Where to next? I know there's like a cave and such you can explore around here that has like a bunch more death claws and everything. I personally prefer to avoid that. Avoid any unnecessary death claw battles. Because quite clearly, I don't like death claws, if you could not tell already. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Seriously, dude. Seriously. You are attacking me with a flare gun. Do you not see the body armor that I have? Do you not think that I can probably withstand a few flares or like a thousand flares? I don't think you're ever going to kill me with that. I mean, seriously, like maybe, I mean, I understand that maybe it's all you have, but come on, at least try, because a flare gun is not going to hurt me and it's not going to stop me from making any progress. That's for sure. I just kind of laugh at it because I think it's kind of funny. It's like, hey, look, look at this guy with the gigantic body armor. We're just going to shoot flares at him. That probably would not kill someone that had no armor on in real life. I don't even know what I'm saying now. Uh, we are making good progress here, though. We are getting closer. Is it in this building? I think it is. Oh, I see a duffel bag, at least. Oh, I don't know if this is where we're supposed to go, but hey, duffel bag. All right, where to now? Is there anywhere to go through here? No, there isn't. Uh, crap. Oh, oh, maybe I have to get up there. I have to get up there somehow. Hang on, see a warhead. So you end up having to detonate like half the warheads just to complete the DLC. Did that do anything? Ah, uh, that did not seem to do much. Unless, can I get up there? Maybe I have to get up there. Okay, that sound is like really kind of creepy. I don't even know what it reminds me of, but it's kind of creepy when it makes that noise. Oh, hang on, there's one there. Yeah, you literally have to find half the Warheads just to complete the DLC in the first place, so... That's not really that bad of a trophy, in all honesty. Because like I said, you have to find half of them just to get through the DLC. And most of them are really not all that well hidden. And as long as you just sort of look for them and know what to look for, they aren't really all that well hidden. Uh, let's pick all that up. Keep it going. Oh, did that not? Huh, I thought that detonated it. There it goes. Oh, crap. Guy's got cloaking armor. Or, well, not cloaking armor, probably a stealth boy, but dang. I was not expecting that. Blade. Wow, you're doing so much damage. Where's your blade? I want your blade. It's a blade of the west, okay? Alright guys, though, I think that's a pretty good stopping point. We're running a little short on time, so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this part, including actually not failing against Death Claws. And we will see you, and I will see you guys in the next part.